Good happy Thursday afternoon everyone. I'm Riley King and welcome to your music news right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's begin. Alec Benjamin debuts coronavirus song Six Feet Apart during Billboard Live at Home concert. Alec Benjamin unveiled a very timely new title Six Feet Apart on Thursday morning, April 2nd, and an hour later. He sang it for the first time during his Billboard Live at Home concert. The singer-songwriter began his short but sweet Facebook Live session with the new tune, which he just pinned Wednesday while quarantined at home. It's actually very because the song is about the current state of affairs in the world. Benjamin said it's about COVID-19 and his whole social distancing thing. I'm not saying anything. I'm just like, this is how I feel. Because the song was so new, Benjamin struggled with the lyrics at first, though it could have been the fact that he'd been pulled an all-nighter to finish the track. I haven't really done that since college, he said. I haven't been in college since I was a freshman, so it's been some time. But he pushed through and delivered the song, despite how many may be feeling at the moment. I miss you most at six feet apart slash when you're right outside my window, but you can't ride inside my car. Benjamin also played snippets of his song, The Book of You and I, and Steve during his Live at Home, which raised money for Meals on Wheels America. You can donate here. Watch the full performance above the... and check out the full version of Six Feet feet Apart below. We will share that with you. The greatest Let's take a look at the pop Stardom is, in many ways, the greatest hit. Blondie, from 1981 to 1985 is a great hit. Another great hit in 1986 to 1990, Whitney Houston. Another great hit from 1991 to 1995, Mariah Carey. Another good singer from 1996 to 2000, Alanis Morissette. In 2001 to 2005, Jennifer Lopez. In 2006 to 2010, Justin Bieber. 2011 to 2015, Adele. And 2016 to 2019, Justin Bieber. Some great singers by the year. Alicia Keys flips over Oprah, shouting out her new memoir, I Adore You Beyond Words. Alicia Keys took to social media on Wednesday to show her love for Oprah, showing love to her brand new memoir, More Myself a Journey. Oh yeah, they do. Green Day 
hits number one mainstream rock song chart. Green Day's Oh Yeah rises 2 to 1 on Billboard's Mainstream Rock Songs Airplay chart dated April 4th, making the band's 7th number 1 and 2nd in a row. The song follows the one-week range of the trio's Father of All in November. Lady Antebellum pushes back Ocean 2020 tour launch. Lady Antebellum announced today that their May and June concert dates would be shifted to begin in July. The Ocean 2020 tour will now kick off on July 2nd at Toyota concert venue in Sacramento, California. The rescheduled dates will be mixed into previously announced dates in the months of July, August, and September. Lady Antebellum will hit major cities across North America, including Denver, Indianapolis, Atlanta, Tampa, Chicago, Cincinnati, Toronto, Detroit, Houston, Nashville, and more. The 2020 tour is currently scheduled to close out on October 2nd at the in Albuquerque, N.E. The headlining will run feature guests Jack Owen and Maddie and Tia. Lady Antebellum's 2020 tour is in support of their latest album, Ocean, which was released on November 15th. The trio single off the album reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 charts back in November. Very cool, indeed. And one of their stops will be in Guilford, New Hampshire at Bank of Pavilion on 9 slash 20 slash 2020. And that does it for this music news edition right here on the Bradley King Radio Network. Thank you for listening to your music news for April 2nd. Have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with more music news. Goodbye, everyone.